Told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never say Hey everybody welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here then just welcome please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video so let's go ahead and get right into today's let's play y'all this is a new LP for the growing together expansion pack and I am super freaking excited this is Ren Phipps our main character of this LP and she has gone through a whole lot she just recently broke up with her boyfriend it's been about a couple of weeks she's still going through the heartache of that and everything this is one of her best friends Jamal Owens they've been best friends or been friends since forever really they knew each other as kids because he stays right down the street and she also has another best friend uh, Arissa right here she's been friends with Arissa since probably junior high so they haven't known each other as long as her and Jamal because Jamal literally is over here all the time so <laughs> so yeah but she is a dog lover she's a bookworm she loves to read so y'all are gonna see all kinds of books just sitting around the house because Ren has been reading in her bed she reads in the living room she reads everywhere anytime that she just has a minute to read she reads that's what she loves to do so and she's loyal she's ambitious she's gloomy right now because she did just go through a breakup so she is anything will just make our girl just tear up like immediately so yeah she she loves um, taking pictures photography so that's another one of her big things and she was a top-notch toddler she does not want to have kids right now so we're going to have to possibly figure out whether she's pregnant or not because she has been a little nauseous but she's just like okay I know it can't be that because I've been protecting myself we never really they never really had unprotected sex it was always protected unless the condom broke who knows but we'll see in a minute to make sure that she's not but 
eventually she does want to have kids eventually just not right now she's just not she does not think that this is the perfect time right now um, she loves to play video games with her little brother although they do not get along but they will sit down from time to time and play video games um, she loves building friendships that's why she's had Owen um, Jamal around for so long because they are just like they are really 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 good friends he's always there for her whenever she needs someone to talk to honestly Jamal has a crush on Ren. Ren does not know that Jamal likes her, but he has a huge crush on her. That's why he's always there to pick up the pieces whenever she needs a shoulder to cry on or anything, good advice. Although he did not like her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend. His name was Tyler. Tyler was... Mm, Tyler was a very... He was a cheater, period. He was a cheater. He was out there spreading it around. He was hot-headed and jealous because Ren always had Jamal and Arissa over at the house or at the apartment and he did not he didn't like walking in all the time seeing um Jamal there. Like why is he here again? You know he like you. I've been seeing the way he looks at you and all of that. And Ren was just like, you're crazy, that's my friend. So, yeah, that didn't go over well with Tyler. So, that's, yeah. So, he ended up, he's been cheating. Ren knew he was cheating. He had been cheating for a while. Um, she just had got to a point where she was tired of it. So, yeah, and it's about time because she deserves so much better than that. And this is Ren's dad, Lamont Phipps. He is a fisherman. He loves fishing. He's been fishing since he was a kid. His dad used to take him fishing every summer. They would just go out, rent out a log cabin, go fishing for a few days, and just hang out on the boat. And he loves that. He wants to also do that with his son because he hasn't gotten into it yet with him. He just became, he just aged up to um, a kid maybe a few years ago. So now he thinks it's time to get him out there to start fishing and just get into it because that's what he loves to do and that's what he wants his son to have those, you know, those cute little memories of hanging out with his dad, you know. I love it. And this is Ren's mom, Raven. Raven and Lamont has been together since they were about uh, 17. Not long after that, they had Ren. So they've been together for a very long time. They've been holding it down, keeping it together, um, just like living the life, you know? So, yeah, mom was not, she was just like, I knew he was no good for you. I knew he was no good for you because he he just had a way about him to where he felt like he was all that <laughs> and he really wasn't especially if you out here cheating on our girl Ren what's wrong with you so yeah her mom was just not feeling him from the start she knew it was something about him this is J.R. Lamont Phipps Jr. and over here it says follow Raven Phipps he follows everybody around so that he can see what they're all doing so that, especially Ren, he follows Ren around all the time so that he can snitch and tell on her and because he's a tattletale. He's a tattletale. So anytime he sees Ren do something that is just like, ooh, he's like, ooh, I'm telling it. So yeah, they're just in here talking a little bit and catching up because it's been a little bit since she's seen him because her boyfriend her ex-boyfriend was just every time he saw Jamal come around or her on the phone with him he would just flip out and just go into a rage and it was always you know I'm crazy about you I love you and that's the reason I am the way I am blah 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 but nobody has time for that so and she's just, 
she's never going to let that friendship go because they've been friends since they were kids. So, of course, she wouldn't let their friendship go. Why would she? But y'all have seen a little bit of the house. This is their house. I thought I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show y'all the outside. Let's go outside. This is their house from the outside. It is fall season right now, so it's a little dark and the leaves are falling. So yeah, this is the outside of their house. I will show y'all with the controls, but I'm so horrible at it, so I don't even want to go through all of that. But this is the living room. This is um, Tyler's mom. I think she came over to talk to Ren. So we'll have them talk in a minute. But this is the living room. The little dining room area. They're just sitting down to eat. Ren's not too hungry. She's just not, she just doesn't want to eat right now. Um, the kitchen. Their laundry room. The bathroom. Mom and dad's room. And this is mom and dad's restroom. I cluttered it up real good, y'all. This clutter. I'm here for it all day, every day. This is JR's room. He loves basketball, anything sports related really. He loves basketball, soccer, um, baseball. He just loves sports, but mostly basketball. So he got a little basketball over here. He got his sneakers right there. He even, let's see if we can, yeah. He even got these, this up here that he went and bought not too long ago, and he got the posters on the wall. So, he's cute. He's cute. And then we are back to Ren's room. This is Ren's room and how it looks. She got her camera here. She has another camera here. This is just the... She saw this at the store. It doesn't even really work. She just has it hanging up here because she thought it was really cute. But yeah, she got her books all over the place. She got a book here. She got a book over here because she was reading this one not too long ago before she, um, maybe about a week ago, she was reading that book. And last night she fell asleep with this one in the bed. But yeah, she got her dressers over here. She got her sneakers because that's how... Our girl likes to dress and her shirts her clothes I thought her room turned out cute it's kind of plain but it's cute nonetheless her chair over here her little chalkboard of things that she needs to remember to do and yeah a girl is going right now to write a note but she also needs to go out so that she can talk to um, Tyler's mom. So I'm going to have her do that right now. Okay, so she's about to go out and invite her in. She's like, I didn't even know you were coming. How long have you been out there? I hope not too long. She's like, no, I was out there just a little bit. It wasn't too long at all. Honestly, I had just got here. So she's going to sit down. They're going to talk a little bit. She's like, have you been having a good day? Um, I know you heard about me and your son. It's been a couple of weeks now. We broke up. I had to. You never texted me back. Are you better than me now? This is the woman that we kicked out of the house that Ren was in, the apartment that she was living in. I kicked her out, and now she feels like her and Ren are best friends. Um, she's gonna say no. She's like, yeah, he always says that. So she must have told her 
he misses you and he wants you back. She's like, yeah, yeah, he always says that. But I take him back, he'll be doing the same thing again. Ren just, I, I feel her, I understand her. She just does not want to deal with it no more. Look at JR back here making a huge mess on the freaking floor. Oh, she gave her a hug. She must be about to leave. She's like, well, baby, I just came over to check on you and see how you were doing. Um, you know, you can call me anytime you need to. But look at girl. <laughs> she like, I know I got you. I got your number. I'll call you. She didn't expect her to scare her either. Heck, I didn't even expect her to scare her. She was like, okay, baby. Well, I'm about to go. Um, you got this. You got this. Y'all were good together, but if you don't think it's good for you, it's going to work, then don't force it, baby. Ren has gotten really sad, so she's about to just go back into her room and cry it out a little bit. She's it's hitting her again. She's going through waves of feeling okay one second and not so okay the next. And she cried herself to sleep. So, okay. I feel so bad for her. You, sir, I want you to clean up this mess like Mama told you to do. I'm sure she did. Thanks for calling. Lee Martinez, that is Tyler's dad. They that good of friends. Look at him down here. What you calling him for? And JR is going to ask Oreo. This is Oreo. I didn't tell y'all that. This is Oreo. All my dog names, all my animal names just be like, most of them, they just be like sweet treats. <laughs> but yeah, that's Oreo. And he just told Oreo to go potty. No, you did it. Oh, he better be happy that everybody else is sleeping. He ain't here. You better breathe. You better breathe. Stop all of that. Look at him. Breathe. Breathe, baby. And since everybody's sleeping, he's going to stomp his way onto his room and play some video games because mom sleep, dad sleep. They're not going to be, you know, able. They, they're not going to know that he's in here doing what he's not supposed to be doing. So, yeah, he's just going to sit here, play his video games. He's in here. He kind of loud too, though. Oh, Dad's up. Lamont has woken up. Where is he? Oh, he was about to come in here. Dad just called his name, and and Jr. has jumped up like he was doing nothing wrong. And his dad came in here to tell him, "Son, I heard you in here playing video games." I heard you in here playing video games. You need to take your behind to sleep. You have school tomorrow. It's 10 o'clock at night, son. So he told him to go to sleep, and he's going to tuck him in. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so cute. You're going to tuck him in and go back to bed himself. And there we go. Oh, she's getting a call. Jamal. Hey, beautiful. Can you give me a call? Oh, y'all, I don't know how she didn't think that he was into her, but he's definitely into her. Hey, beautiful, can you give me a call? And she's going to respond. We're going to say she rolled over because she heard her phone going off. And she sent him a text back. She was like, okay, I'll call you in the morning. Something like that, because she's sleeping. Ren woke up early this morning because she had to use the restroom very bad. She was feeling nauseous all night long, so she didn't get a lot of good sleep. So she's also taking a pregnancy test to see if she is pregnant. So, oh, yo, she's pregnant. And that is not what she wanted. Oh, my gosh. She did not want to have a baby right now. But she's having a baby and she just knew like 
that couldn't happen because she's been very careful. She's been having him wrap it up every single time, so there was no way she thought that she could be pregnant. But Rand was also, she was taking birth control, and she missed a few days, which messed her up. I think that's probably what also helped with it. Maybe the condom broke, I have no idea, but she was very careful. And now she has an unwanted child on the way from Woohoo. Rand did not expect to have a child and is really not sure that she wants it at all, but it's happening. What should she do? Wow, second trimester in 24 hours. Y'all, this is so crazy. I feel so bad for her because this is not what she wanted. Well, what does it say? Grab custom snack. Our girl is starving. So she's also about to go get her snack. Come on, mama. Look at that cute little belly, y'all. Look at that cute little belly. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Girl, go get you something to eat. Oof. Oh no. She said quick snack. Now she's about to go make some basmati rice. Okay, mama. Do your thing. It is what it is. Oh, she's starving in the... Okay. She has a doctor's appointment. Oh, and it's 3 o'clock in the morning. That don't even make sense. But she's going to go ahead and go. Uh, but she's so freaking hungry. I do not want to make her or have her leave the house without having anything to eat. So yeah, she's just gonna go. Oh, she's so sad. She's just having a rough time, y'all. I feel so bad for her. And Raven's awake. She had a weird dream. What even was that dream? Um, sore back. Ouch, that mattress was firm, like concrete. See, her husband loves a firm mattress, but Raven, it just kills her back. It kills her back every single night but that's what he sleeps on so she tries to compromise but she's also starting to think you know what maybe if i slide a, a different mattress in here one day when he's at work maybe he won't notice <laughs> so i don't know she's gonna probably have to do what she got to do unpleasant surroundings from bad environment most sims hate being surrounded by filth and squalor what's filthy um feeling inspired so yeah oh look at our girl look at mama but she realized oh crap we left the food out all night and that's what that's what it was she left the food out she forgot to put it away so now she's gonna clean it up that food looked too good too and they left it out what okay <laughs> no it didn't go down to just that but there goes she's gonna clean it up and get everything right and then go to the bathroom, probably grab her a little snack. Mom is up very freaking early. She's up for the day. She's had all the sleep that she needs. Okay. You can't get this? How about now? There you go. So since she's done with that, now she's going to go use the restroom, brush her teeth, get ready for the day, and then come back make breakfast so that her family has something to eat when they wake up. Ren is about to be home in a minute. Oh, I cannot wait to see her and see how everything's going. Mama Ren is back. Okay, OBGYN visit results. Ren's doctor wasn't overly concerned about the baby or her, but encouraged Ren to get some more exercise and follow a healthy diet. Okay. Very interesting. I'm still thinking about what happened from recent woohoo. Girl, let that go. Don't be trying to go back to him. End of relationship from breakup. I will just focus on the good memories. Y'all... Is she trying to back backtrack? Watery eyes from being sad. Ren's eyes are filled with tears. Oh, mama is okay. She wants to eat some food. I know that's right. She must have had a snack while she was out because she's not so hungry. Listen to pop music. 
and she wants to travel to the library but we're gonna have her I think mama should be in the kitchen making the food so let's go see look at oh Ren mama's not even cooking yet she's still in there washing her hands okay she's gonna go give herself a pep talk I need her to get out of this mood because the last thing I want her to do is try to go back to her ex. We don't need him. She definitely she definitely does not need him. Like he's just not good for her. And on top of everything, y'all. Look at this. She finds him very unattractive and they had bad compatibility. So it was just not good with him all the way around. Like, he was not good for her. She knew he wasn't good for her, but it was one of those things where if I love him enough, maybe he'll change for me. Um, he didn't want to change. He was out there living his best life. He had Ren at home, doing her thing, like taking care of home, taking care of him, making money on the side, whatever. And he was out there doing his own thing with the other girls freaking what's her name penny pizzazz was just stupid enough to come over she didn't know that he had a girlfriend because he told her that he didn't not that like i mean she stayed right next door so him lying saying that that wasn't his girlfriend was just it wasn't smart on so many levels but that's tyler he thought he could have his cake and eat it too but Ren was just like, you know what? I'm not going to put up with that. I don't have to put up with that. Mom's in here tense. She's going through it. Feeling inspired. What is this? Prepared a meal. You haven't prepared anything yet, Mama. You're trying to. But yeah, I have her making some crepes, some fruit crepes. Because Ren need a little fruit. But hey... I feel like you put fruit on anything and make it a little healthier. <laughs> I don't know, but y'all let me know. But I think so. Mama's back is killing her. Look at Rand. She still has not told her mom that she's pregnant. She's going to have to sit down with her at some point and tell her. Oh, she came here and she said, she's like, Mama, what you cooking? It smell good. No, Ren, come get you a plate of food. Don't go cry, baby. Oh, she's making me so sad, y'all. Sit down, mama. Eat your food. Feel good. Look at her. She can't even eat her food for worrying about freaking Oreo. And then she gonna go back and eat. Sims are weird. They are just weird. She gonna have all dirty hands and eating her food. Okay. Mama's cooking something else, y'all. Oh, she's making coffee. I was like, dang. They just keep on popping things out of the fridge, spending up all the money. But yeah, y'all. Oh, no. Y'all, she's making me so sad. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here, y'all. If you enjoyed, please give it a huge thumbs up, comment any suggestions you may have down below. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe. I would love, love, love to have you here. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.